The sustainable growth rate is a concept that's covered in the level 1 and level 2 syllabus. You will find it in equity and also corporate finance. Now, why do we need to study this concept? You could be estimating the stable growth rate in a Gordon Growth Model valuation, or you could be trying to calculate the terminal value of a stock in a multi-stage uh, dividend discount model. So you will need to estimate the mature growth rate to plug into the Gordon Growth formula. So the sustainable growth rate is the dividend and earnings growth rate that can be sustained for a given level of return on equity. Now this assumes that the capital structure is constant through time and that the company doesn't issue new equity. The formula for the sustainable growth rate is G equals to B times ROE. G is the growth rate in dividend and earnings. B is the earnings retention rate, which is also one minus dividend payout ratio. And earnings retention rate is just the earnings that is retained or reinvested divided by total earnings. And ROE here is based on the return on new investments. So analyst commonly assumes that the rate of return is well approximated by the return on equity. Now as an example, if a company's ROE is 20% and their retention rate is 60%, then the sustainable growth rate is calculated as 60% times 20%, which is 12%. Now, of course, this is application of the formula, but how does it really translate into equity, income, and dividend? So we're going to look at that through an illustration of an example. So I'm going to assume that the retention rate is 60%, which means that the dividend payout ratio is 40%. The return on equity is 20% on any new investments. And we're going to start with a beginning equity of $1 million. Now we're going to analyze the impact on equity, net income, and dividends. Now with the assumption, we'll start with a $1 million equity. And assuming a 20% return, that means for the coming year, the net income will be 20% times $1 million. So that's $200,000. So this is based on the assumption that ROE is equals to net income over your beginning equity. Now, to calculate dividends, uh, we assume a payout ratio of 40% and 40% here is based on the dividend over earnings. So if you have earnings of 200,000, that means the dividend will be 40% times net income. So that will be $80,000. Now, out of 200,000, $80,000 will be paid out as dividends. So the company will reinvest 120,000. So that will be added back to equity. So for the end of the year, the equity will be $1.12 million. So from 1 million to 1.12 million, that shows a growth of 12%. Now, what would be the net income for the next year? So we'll take the equity 1.12 million multiplied by 20%, which is the ROE, and that will be 224,000. So from 200,000 to 224,000, that is again a 12% growth. And for dividends, they'll continue to pay out 40%. So we'll take 40% times income. That will be 89600 So from 80000 to $89,600, that is also a growth of 12%. So what we can conclude here is that as long as the company continues to reinvest at the retention rate and they can maintain the return on equity, then the growth will be sustainable in the long run.